I'm standing here with Angus. And Angus, can you tell me what you are selling here? Yeah, so we're doing the Beef Eater Pink uh, gin that uh, is newly released. You can find it anywhere at uh, any select LCBO in all across Ontario. Uh, today we're actually serving it as with lemonade. We're calling it a Strawberry Collins or with your classic uh, tonic water. So classic gin and tonic, but with the strawberry twist. Perfect. Now, I noticed that the bottle actually says the words London on them. Can you explain to us what that's all about? Yeah. Um, funny you should mention because we are actually in London, but... Uh, the London on the bottle actually means London, UK. Uh, classically, gin is distilled in uh, in London, in the United Kingdom. That's where it originally was founded. So, um, funny enough, the product Beef Eater is actually from the United Kingdom, and it was distilled there. And uh, obviously, now Beef Eater is a, a worldwide recognized brand, so uh, you can find it anywhere across the world. And of course, we're we're happy to be here today here in London, Ontario. So I'm standing here with Michelle, who just happens to work at this location of Jack Astor's. So can you tell me what anybody can come and sample over here? Uh, yes, yeah, so we have a build your own taco bar. So I have fish, steak, and chicken, and obviously tortillas. We have some lettuce, fresh jalapeno, cilantro, feta cheese, some beans and corn, salsa sour, and lots more cheese, three cheese blend. Yeah. Got to get all the cheese in there, absolutely. I 100% agree. Uh, do you have a favorite topping when it comes to uh, tacos? Uh, I lean towards the fish and the cilantro, maybe some feta cheese in there, lettuce. Perfect. All right, so I'm standing here with Doug from Steam Whistle. How you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Sorry, I'll actually get the handshake <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about what you're selling today? Sure. We're, um, we've got our Pale Ale, which is our newest brand. It just came out. And we also have Fat Tire, which we're now brewing and distributing here in Canada. It's a nice amber ale, and then we've got good old traditional steam whistle pilsner. So, do you do you have a favorite out of any of them? Well, I'm a little partial to the pilsner just because I've been there for a while, but no, they're all excellent. I mean, so are the rest of the beers here too. So, and can you grab any of these uh, cans or any of these tall boys in your local beer store or LCBO? Yeah, they're all available in the beer store and most LCBOs. So, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. So we're standing here with Jamie Lee of You Youth Opportunities Unlimited. Hi. So hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you for having us. I'm so glad that you guys could come, thank you. Now can you tell us, for anybody who is watching who doesn't know what You is, can you explain a little bit about the organization? For sure. Uh, YOU is a local grassroots nonprofit based out of here in London and Middlesex, and we're serving youth between 15 and 29 years old. Um, we're really helping the full spectrum of youth, so youth who are really at risk and going through some really hard times, and youth who aren't but just need to bolster their support. Uh, we help with everything from like basic needs and housing all the way up to education, employment. And we also run social enterprises for training for youth as well. Now, how did this event even all come together between you and Jack Astor's? Yeah, it's been a really growing partnership. Um, so Powerhouse actually initiated it by making a YOU beer. So the cream ale that you see here tonight was created by Powerhouse in partnership with Jack Astor's and YOU. And a portion of proceeds come back to YOU from every can purchased. And it actually contributes to meals for homeless youth who need that meal program each and every night. Now, can you get these cans? Like if... if uh, somebody just didn't happen to come today. Can you get them at a local beer store or an LCBO or anything like that? Yeah, so it's a little exclusive. You can always get it at Jack Astor's Richmond Row here and then as well at our cafe that we run, the You Made It Cafe at Richmond and York. We serve it too. Perfect. And I was actually just about to mention that that I had just found out that you guys uh, or that the, the organization you has partnered and made that cafe a thing in total. So can you explain, like, does that Visiting that cafe, does the, do the proceeds go straight back to the organization, or how does that work? Yeah, so our social enterprises are a great way for our organization to be more sustainable. They generate well over a million dollars a year, and all that money goes right back into training programs for youth, so more youth can participate. So that we run the YOU Cafe, we run a recycling facility, a wood shop, and we make mush preserves out in Strathroy for rural youth. So for youth that have never worked before or are looking to reintegrate back into the workforce after a bit of a pause, it's a really safe space for them to do so. So by the community supporting these businesses, they're supporting local youth directly. And for anybody watching who might want to find out more about Youth, uh, youth Opportunities Unlimited, my apologies, how could they go about doing that by volunteering or donating or what would you recommend? 100%. Check out our website first and foremost. See if it's a good fit for you. It's really easy to remember, you.ca. Check us out. If you're interested in learning more, I host volunteer orientations. 
especially for students, it's a great way to come out and just casually learn more. Um, but we have lots of great volunteer opportunities, ways to donate and give if that's of interest. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out to us. Well, thank you so much for taking time out. Right, so I'm standing here with two of the contestants from the bartending competition today. Gentlemen, you are? Uh, Hank Marduka. Yeah, and Lloyd. <laughs> All, right, per All right, perfect. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. All right, so can you explain to people listening what's going on tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a, it's like a flair competition. Uh, Jack Astor's does them like, company-wide for the last, I don't know, maybe 20 years. It's the uh, eighth annual one they're doing here right now. So. Now, the uh, you did mention it's a charity event. Yeah. Do they choose a new charity every year to, to partake in this, or is it usually a partnership between the same one? Uh, no, sorry. It's a different charity every year. Uh, we kind of choose one based on what's going on, and um, we started actually a partnership with them and uh, with Powerhouse uh, Brewery, and so we made some draft care, some cans with them, and sold them all year, and so we're just continuing on with that relationship now. You got it all. Got it all. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, perfect. All right. Now, you guys have worked here for a couple years, I would assume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up here. How long have you worked here? Uh, I've been back here for nine months now, but I was here previously when I was in university. Yeah. That's my eighth year, I think, now. Yeah. Wow. And you guys work at this location, correct? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So, if people want to come to this location, they can come and see you do these tricks whenever they want, right? Yeah, or better bartenders that work here as well. <laughs> <laughs> they can totally come see them. <laughs>